What is going on guys? Clint with Prestige Aquatics back with yet another awesome fish video. Today we're going to be talking about shipping some fish. It's actually Sunday here in the fish room. We usually uh, bag all the fish up and ship on Mondays, but I've got a really busy day tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and get everybody bagged up. Everything's overnight shipping this week, so I'm not worried about having them in the bag overnight tonight. So let's get right into it. So as for what we're shipping out this week, we're shipping out a couple trios of these awesome, awesome, awesome Japan blue red double sword inlers. Someone is getting super lucky to get such a quality inler here, as well as a few other things uh, like a pair of these awesome black Moscow's that are right next door. And my favorite guppies in the fish room right now, about three trios of them are going out. And here they are, my favorite guppies in the fish room. These are the red bicolor guppies. And I just listed these a couple weeks ago. And after this week, I'm probably going to have to take them back off the stock list. I'm trying to continue this line. And I'm actually selling so many trios and pairs this week that I probably need to just reel it back in and uh, get some fry before I sell any more. So the first thing I do when I'm getting ready to ship fish is I run a water change. And then when I get to the end of the water change, I fill up three or four containers of some nice clean tank water. Do this after a water change to just make sure that any nutrients that were in the water are actually lower than they were before the water change. We want nice clean water in the bags with the fish when they're shipping. The next thing we need to do is go fishing. And this is just something that you get better at over time uh, the more you're in these tanks, the better you'll get at it. When I'm in the tank, I try to go ahead and take the opportunity to do any culling or selecting, and that way I'm not disturbing the tank twice once I'm already in there. So I fished out most of the fish for one of our orders. We have a couple trios of these Japan Blue Red Double Swords, and then a couple trios of these Red Bicolors and a pair of black Moscow's and a red female. As you can tell, the fish that we're shipping are absolutely top quality. We would never ship a cull. You all are paying good money for these fish and we want you to have the best. We probably only send out about 50% of our fish and we cull the rest and we might select one or two for breeders. Okay, so next thing I'll do is get a cooler out, and for this order, I'm gonna be shipping one of our medium coolers. We use these Thermo Chill coolers. Super great, uh, always do a great job for us, whether it's the summer or the winter time. So we'll catch some fish, and we'll put some water in a bag, and then we'll put air in a bag. I just have a little tap drilled here in our central air system. And so I'll fill it up with air all the way, and I'll pinch the top. And I'll slide it out and twist it and hold that air in. I twist the top and I come over here to the table and I'll fold this over and I'll rubber band it. And I usually go about 10 wraps around and you get better at this the more you do, but I just keep wrapping it at least 10 times, usually 12 to 15 times. Get it nice and tight. And the last thing I'll do to get these fish ready is I'll double bag them. And so I take the bag, uh, just stick it in the other one, which is easier said than done. Let them slide down to the bottom and I'll do the same process as before. and then I'll label them. And I always like to label fish before I send them out so that when you get the fish, you know exactly what they are and you don't have to go hunting through bags. And then we'll just tape her up. After we tape it, 
We'll write live animals on the side. I haven't found somewhere to get good live fish stickers, but I'm still on the hunt for those. If you know anywhere to get live fish stickers, give me a comment down below. Always use more tape than you think you need. All right, live animals. On every surface of the box. And if it's gonna be hot, I'll always write keep cool or something like that. Or if it's gonna be cold, I'll write keep warm. And now we have a couple orders ready to ship out. They're ready to slap the label on and take the UPS. There you have it guys, that's how we ship fish. I'm in my car getting ready to go ship the fish, so you'll have to excuse the outro not being in the fish room, but if you like fish videos, if you like this video, or uh, are interested in any kind of DIY fish videos, uh, fish projects, fish room tours, anything like that, go ahead and like and subscribe. We have great content here on our channel, and we'd love to help you in any way possible. If you're building the fish room or if you're needing some nice quality fish, just reach out. I'd love to help you in any way possible, and uh, until next time, we'll see you then.